For the last several years, a lab located inside an old World War II bomber assembly plant at Offutt Air Force Base has identified hundreds of missing military men and women, allowing their families a chance to give their loved ones a proper burial. As reporter John Kipper tells us, a select bipartisan group from the House of Representatives toured it today. What they said about funding. Everything that comes in, every bone gets a unique identifier. Today, members of Congress got a peek at the DPAA lab, which serves as one of two facilities in the country tasked with IDing fallen servicemen and women who are unaccounted for since World War II. We were allowed to follow along on the tour and record audio, but they didn't want us to show you what we're seeing. That's because they didn't want us to photograph any other remains. It was all seemingly a bit overwhelming for Congressman Jim Barrett of Indiana, a Vietnam vet and Purple Heart recipient. It's really reassuring to know where, in those cases where you might not have been able to get a, a friend or a buddy, to know someone's still there, going to bring them home. Barrett was hosted by Congressman Jeff Fortenberry, who brought along a bipartisan group of congressmen to see the lab, as well as the base including STRATCOM. You're taken to STRATCOM and see the simulation, the training simulations of what a nuclear exchange would look like. That makes you take your job seriously. During the tour, the four congressmen could see all the different compartments of the lab, which identifies over 200 military men and women annually who were previously missing, giving closure to their families, oftentimes decades later. I have two young children. I am a spouse. I am a brother. And I know what those people mean to me. And I can understand what those people mean to everybody else. This is the first time Congressman Jeff Fortenberry brought a congressional delegation to Offutt, and he plans to do it again. For one, he wants to make sure STRATCOM and the lab remain properly funded. Fortenberry would also like to make the tour mandatory. You're elected just because you get more votes than the next person, then suddenly you are put in charge of our nation's military infrastructure. You go from zero to 75 real quick. All four House reps left the state today with a better idea of the importance of Offutt and saying Congress will continue to invest in it. At Offutt, John Kipper, 3 News Now. Dr. Damon, who leads the lab, says there are plans to use the building the lab is in for a different purpose. The process has begun to find a new location then for the lab.